I'm Dr. Kanowitz, founder of the Airway Safety Movement. I am honored to have been given this opportunity to present to the Patient Safety Movement Foundation's 2019 Summit. The Airway Safety Movement has committed to help eliminate preventable death from airway safety events. I'm expecting a slide to come up. There he is. He was active. He was intelligent. He was loved by everyone. He had a very promising life in front of him. Yet he died needlessly a preventable death at age 14 from the complications of airway management. I would like to share with you Drew's story. On the evening of June 29, 2013, Drew was skateboarding with his friends, as he did most evenings. But this particular evening, Drew fell, hitting his head. He was taken by um, ambulance to the hospital. When he arrived, he was awake and alert. He looked fine. But the doctor did the workup and found a small abnormality on CT scan suggestive of a basilar skull fracture. So for Drew's safety, the decision was made to transfer him to the level one trauma center. In the ambulance, Drew's life-sustaining breathing tube was pulled. Although the crew replaced the tube, his condition quickly worsened. His oxygen levels fell, and his heart rate slowed. So the ambulance diverted to the nearest hospital, but it was too late. Drew had already suffered anoxic brain injury, and he died. He died needlessly, a preventable death from the complications of airway management. It is unacceptable that unplanned extubation, the unintentional removal of a patient's life-sustaining breathing tube, and the most common cause of preventable death from airway management, leading to more than 33,000 lives lost each year, is such an uncommonly recognized cause of preventable death. It is time for unplanned extubation to join sepsis, ventilator-associated pneumonia, and opioid-induced respiratory depression as a key performance measure given the appropriate administrative priority, quality management and prevention measures necessary to eliminate these preventable deaths. The airway safety movement was recently formed to improve patient safety through innovative thinking, extensive collaboration, accessible education, and evidence-based standardization. The airway safety movement has partnered with the Patient Safety Movement Foundation and the Society for Airway Management to develop a campaign to increase awareness and prevention of unplanned extubations. We have formed a collaborative, which you can see here, which includes the major professional medical societies dealing with airway management, everywhere from American Society of Anesthesiologists to the Air Association of Air Medical Services and everything in between. We also have many patient safety organizations and quality improvement organizations involved. The collaborative has developed a toolbox for hospitals to facilitate their building a quality improvement process, which will allow them to track, evaluate the results, and then institute new preventions to help hospitals accomplish zero preventable deaths. The airway safety movement 
is committed to helping the Patient Safety Movement Foundation achieve the goal of zero preventable deaths. I promised David and Kimberly Hughes, Drew's parents, that I would do everything I can to help prevent another Drew story from ever occurring. I now ask that all of you commit to eliminating these preventable deaths. Thank you.